so it's time to judge DMU now hi everyone so in today's video I'm about to go to DMU which is the Montfort University believe it or not I've never been to this campus to the DMU campus I've only seen the university from the outside but I've never been inside so I thought about doing some exploration with you all and let's go <laughs> I'm about to go inside and so far so good, I like it. So that's one of the buildings of DMU that I've seen from the outside. And by outside, I mean that outside. That's the main road that leads to the city centre but also to other parts of Leicester. I thought about doing some exploration with my bike and do like a bike tour. But then I realized vlogging with my phone, with my bike, while biking, biking, while cycling is going to be tough. I've done it before. I've done it with the video called Abbey Park. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it if you want. So that's the student union. Not bad. The architecture is super modern. That's also one of the buildings I've seen before on Instagram. This pathway looks really inviting, so I'm about to go inside. Queen's building? No, it's not Queen's building. It's... No, it's not even that. I really like the trees. They are so symmetrical. Wait, wait. Let's turn around so you can see better and you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, see? I really really like how they are set, how they are presented. I'm really excited about exploring DMU, exploring DMU and that's because I've never been inside of the campus. I'm eager to go left and right, north, south, everywhere. I'm following a path that I really really like right now. So right now there are some buildings around me and i really really like them they are attractive compared to the building that we've seen before i don't like that it's modern and that's not the type of architecture i like this is much better and there are trees around symmetrical trees like the one we've seen before i really really love that bridge behind me i like what's underneath of it where it leads me to i'm not sure you can see it there you go the view is super nice and also this little bridge reminds me of those little houses on the trees i also love those little windows super cute wow this part of dmu gives me bangladesh vibe i've been to a garden and it has the same architecture let's have a quick look there's nothing it's just a door that leads somewhere i'll probably come here another day there aren't many people around i'm coming here really really soon i love that bridge i was up there a few seconds ago there is no point in going upstairs because the doors are closed they don't lead me anywhere right now i'm kind of disappointed i really thought this pathway was long and i thought it was going to show me 
more interesting parts of DMU but actually this is it it's just three stairs that led me nowhere that over there is the library and I really hope that's not the only library available in DMU this library is apparently called Kimberlin library and it's currently closed it's ugly Queen's building is also not that bad it looks really nice and this is apparently the computer science and engineering building let's see what's inside oh, it's just computers no they're not computers they're actually something that i don't know i turned around and i got scared because i saw that man and that man looked real he looks like he's watching me no it's not the statue is not looking at me but from where i am right now it looks like he's watching me and it's so creepy i remember this screen over here i've seen a picture and a video on instagram showing people sitting on these benches and these students were all watching the football match together There is a bridge over there, it looks inviting and I'm about to go and see what there is. I think there is a river. I'm on the other side of the campus. The bridge and the river that are in front of me are things that I've seen for the first time. I've never seen this place before and I live in Leicester for five years, more than five years. It's getting dark and I want some light. I want my blogs to be nice and bright. So I'm about to go home and I'm coming back here tomorrow. Hi everyone, so it's the following day and right now I'm in the main entrance of DMU and it's in uh, Magazine Square to be precise. It's not shiny, bright, luminous like I want it to be. There is nothing I can do. This is the typical day of the UK. Apparently there is a terrace where I can see Leicester, a small part of Leicester from above but because it's summer holiday I won't be able to go up there, it's closed, everything is closed. I'm going to name this vlog the outside of the Montfort University and then one day I'll make a vlog and explore the inside of DMU. In front of business school and law school, there is life and health science. I love this wall behind me with all these leaves on and it's so photogenic. I've been looking for an arch for such a long time and now I'm just right here and the arch is behind me this is so gothic and medieval medieval did i say it right and i like the fact that it takes to a new place not that different from where I am right now and I also like the fact that there is a lamp and I can't imagine how beautiful it is at night his name is Derek and I just met him while taking a few pictures he was uh, showing me 
a, a few places around here he was telling me the story of this area do you want to tell us about the history most of the properties around here are of a, a, a good age most of this area developed well, it's developed probably in the 12 13 1400s you've got a, a beautiful garden around here that's owned privately now and you um, said I can hop on and look, have a look. Yes, <laughs> you, you can look there. It's the herb garden. Mm -hmm. So everything you see is herbs, not just flowers growing. To the rear is Rupert's Gateway, which has been standing there since the 1400s. Most of this area was dated about that period. Although that's part of the museum, that is a similar age to a lot of the other buildings. Probably about, I think that's about 1500. You so done, there is a you pub. You've the pubs. No, I don't no, go well, to pubs. <laughs> well, well there's, there's one pub, it's been... Closed. So, you get into the herb garden, there's one gate here. It's been there since uh, about the 1950s and people would go in and out. But De Montfort University have acquired it and the public are not allowed in there. Derek approached me and we had a little chat. He said that those houses are empty. I'm just going to use my tripod to have a look inside. Derek told me that this pub is locked. 50, 60 years ago, people used to come here and have a beer. That's the pub he was talking about. To tell you the truth, it's actually slightly different from where I was before, the other side of the gateway. I don't know very much about the history of Leicester. I know it's very, very old. It's a very old city. And so I have to rely on this board. So you can pause the video and have a read. I'm quite enjoying my exploration. I've never seen this place before. And there are some ways, little streets, where I can go and do some more exploration. I've been saying the same word so many times, but I don't care. I've just discovered a new place, which is amazing. I wasn't on my own in that open area but if I were on my own I would have done something crazy This is, I think, the perfect place for me to dance. I'm not gonna do it now because there are people around me and there is no music. Are you guys doing YouTube as well? I met these beautiful girls and I, <laughs> I thought they were doing YouTube, but it was actually a birthday message. Yeah, awesome. They have a tripod and a camera like me. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Brandy. And yours? Um, Kaden. Nice to meet you. I'm Anika. Nice yeah. to meet you. So this is one of the pubs that I was looking for, but I thought it was just next to the river. It's actually 
in the middle of the pathway like the rest of the other pubs and shops. I was just over there yesterday and now I'm in a new different place but not very far from where I was yesterday. I would say that DMU is pretty much small and easy to go around. I was on the other side of the bridge and now I'm the opposite. These are from River Island. I bought them on TK Maxx for only eight pounds. And that's me with my tripod. It's not mine. A friend of mine gave it to me for a few days to try it. So it's time to judge DMU now. I am impressed. I really am. However, it is aesthetically beautiful. But if I come here, often then it will become boring i'm the the kind of person who prefers a larger university a larger campus where discovering new places never ends i know some of you might say oh it's the teaching quality that is more important rather than the architecture the environment but i think it's better to have both good environment and good teaching quality I'm not sure about DMU, I don't study at DMU, so I can't help you with that. And I suggest you to make some research or ask other people. I'm not the right person to help you on that. The fact that there is a river next to the campus is a good aspect because I believe that water, rivers, lakes are therapeutic and they are useful for students to hang out with family i mean friends and on their own and after a long day at the library that's the right place to think and relax and get rid of all the negative thoughts from the head so that place over there is the place I've been yesterday where I left the video. I have to find my way back to the main entrance because that's where I left my bike. I came back to my starting point and I'm going back to where I was. One place led me to another and so I have to go back and see what's inside of that narrow street. Pathway that attracted my attention. Let's see what's inside. It's just a square with some benches, nothing else. The pathway leads to Castle Garden, but I'm not going inside. That's going to be another separate video. wealthy place to live. It's quite separate from the rest of the other places. Before closing up this video, I wanted to say that I really hope you enjoyed discovering DMU with me and don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe if you want and I'll see you another day.